in a rather resounding and embarrassing blow to the unions. The Tennessee Volkswagen plant overwhelmingly voted to not allow the UAW have any partnership with their plant and more importantly their personal beliefs. Let's be honest, if you enjoy going to church, hunting, and do not wish to have your children exposed to the gay lifestyle, would you join an organization and pay dues to whom the management only gives money to the Democrats, who support every view you find offensive, to your Christian and constitutional beliefs? With more and more industries opening up plants in the South, in particular those who are firmly in conservative states, the liberal labor unions will soon become extinct, because any Christian man with an ounce of dignity would never sacrifice his conviction and support liberal causes that gives all their dues to the Obama agenda. Let me give you a perfect example of just how out of touch union leadership is. In Michigan, we elected Governor Rick Snyder who has turned the state around and made remarkable progress with all the problems facing the city of Detroit. He is a shoe in to being re-elected. Bob King said he wanted a different opponent to run against Rick Snyder. She was a smart cookie, and knew she stood no chance of defeating him, then decided not to run. The person the UAW did not want to endorse, accepted the nomination. Instead of doing what most people would consider using common sense, knowing full well Rick Snyder will be elected again, and trying to form some type of relationship with him, he instead endorsed an opponent who has no chance of winning, and I still do not even know his name. The only reason you could make such a foolish mistake, is because you are so entrenched in the Democratic Party, you do not even care what is good for the American people, just your pocketbook. Americans are waking up, and now find union membership at historically low levels. They better wisen up, become more conservative, or go the way of the dodo bird, extinct.